on on your voice. And and I know guys have had to go, you know, had surgery and things like that uh, for for nodes or nodules or all this other stuff on their cords. And uh, and obviously that's that's a a scary thing for any vocalist. But uh, but if you do that all the time, uh, eventually something's probably going to give. And uh, so I, I, I guess in that regard, I've I've been pretty lucky that I I haven't had those those kind of touring schedules where it's it's been so so brutal. And uh, and you and I've had to you know kill myself on the, on that kind of stuff. We've we've had some some tough ones, and um, a lot of those a lot of the, the, the tours that I that I have had that have been Lo, you know, longer tours, um, by the end of the tour, man, you're so locked in, you know, it's, everything is running a lot smoother, but there's still, there's still going to be some, some challenges there and you're still going to do, you know, obviously do some, some damage to your voice, um, along the way. So yeah, I, you know, I've, I've had the benefit of having, you know, a certain amount of hiatus in between, doing tours and doing records and things like that. So I, I guess that's, that's helped and hopefully it will, uh, I'll be able to have my, my voice for a long time. I, I hope to be able to, to do this for as long as I can. So. Yeah. I mean, I think the break thing probably does have some, some effect on it too. Cause I'm thinking about some of the other guys whose voices have really, you know, maintained their quality over the years. And some of them like, I even think Michael Kiske from Halloween, you know, and guys like that, they they have like a long break before they started doing all the the live stuff again, and so their voices kind of maintain that power maybe a little yeah. bit better than somebody like Halford, who just has constantly been touring, you know. Um, yeah. Well, he still yeah. sounds good, but you know, he's definitely you can hear a bit of wear on his voice because of all the stuff he's had to do with with it, you know. Sure. Yep. Yep. And it and it, you know, and it's 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 sad. It's right. It's hard to it's hard to go. Oh man, you know. I mean. It, I, you know, I gotta say, man, I, you know, um, probably one of the people I was most impressed with, you know, right up, right up to the end, man, was, you know, Ronnie James Dio, just, I mean, the stuff that he, he did with his voice and he could at, 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 you know, I gotta say an advanced stage, you know, um, is amazing. You know, uh, he, he really kept his, his instrument in good shape, you know, and, uh, it's just sad that he's gone. And, uh, but, you know, he did a, he did a, a really amazing job and had a, uh, you know, an amazing career. So. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Dio is one of those guys that just, uh, it's kind of, you know, kind of boggles the mind. I mean, I listened recently to the last track he recorded before he died. Uh, I think it was Electra with his solo band, you know, mm-hmm. or not solo band, but, you know, Dio. And it's, it's interesting just how he was, you know, dying of cancer at the time and he's still belting it out with just as much fury as ever. I mean, he sounded a bit older, sure, but he still had just that same amount of power as he did before, you know? Yeah. Yep. And so that's, that's very, like, admirable, you know, inspirational kind of stuff there. Sure. Um, but, uh, but anyways, uh, going uh, back a little bit, you know, we were talking about the upcoming Ashes album and, you know, just, just the songwriting process of the last one and stuff like that. Um, where have you been seeing uh, kind of your lyrical inspirations coming from with this one compared to the last one? Because I felt like the last one actually kind of, it wasn't obviously a concept album, but there there was kind of a bit some similar themes going through when I watched the uh, videos of you talking about the meanings of the songs. Right. How would you say, what, what's kind of, what's bubbling for the next one, you know? Um, there's <laughs> going to be, there's, the it's, it's going to be a continuation of doom and despair. Because uh, that's, <laughs> that's kind of like, that's where, that's where my mind goes, man. Even, you know, I was, I was That's I, I joke with my wife about that because you know she's like, can't you write me a love song? And I'm like, hey, it's just it's gonna go bad. It's just <laughs> I start out with good intentions and then it just goes goes south. But no, um, yeah, I I mean it's 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 metal, man. So uh, I I I cannot even come now. I I gotta say a lot of metal songs and, and a lot of songs and even you know songs that we that we did for the last the last record. Um, we try to you know there's it's nice to have some in, inspiration, you know, some inspiring songs, some songs that kind of get you, you know, there. And I definitely think that metal lends itself to that, you know, anthemic, you know, uh, that big stuff. And I, and there's definitely going to be some of that in, in this, in this record for sure. But, but, you know, you, you kind of go back to that, um, the, 
man, I always kind of just kind of find my way back to that that dark stuff, man, because it just it just feels right, you know, it just feels like you know that's that's where you 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 want to go when you know when you're questioning things, you're you're you know you're questioning people's intentions and and people's you know just you know where they are and you know uh, there's always that kind of that that thing, and I guess it's just you you want to see. The good in, in people and in humanity, but a lot of times you, you just kind of go to that dark spot and you just go, you know, because you see that, you know, and I see it, you know, a lot, you know, in my in my in my life, and it just seems like that's that's always the. the in a a fictional area, in a fictional realm, um, not the 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 nonfiction darkness is obviously all around us. Um, but in the fictional realm, I always kind of been drawn to that as well. It just it just feels like like a cool area, you know. It's because I guess because it is that that unknown and um, just uh, I don't know that that just that's I guess probably one of the reasons that I I was drawn drawn to the metal genre uh, a little bit because that seems to be like the things that. Everybody, you know, everybody in metal is kind of drawn to, you know, the bats and skulls and, you know, all that kind of the evil, the evilness of it um, without, you know, without being evil, because that's the funniest thing. It's, it seems like there's so many metalheads, especially, you know, you know, musicians and bands and things like that, you know, drawn to that. But they're the nicest guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, those the guys that are going to have your back. You know, they, you know, no matter what, you know, you call them up and say, "Hey, man, I, you know, got this. Can you help me out?" Sure, man, I'll be here. You know, that's that's the 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 funny part of it. That's that that's that kind of that uh, you know, the duality of of it is that uh, you know you've got so many so many guys that are into that that kind of that kind of dark stuff, but they're just the the nicest guys, and and that's what you you end up usually having uh guys that are in, in a in a metal band together um so you know i i guess it, it just i don't want to say it's a, it's not certainly not going to be a carbon copy of the last record uh, but there's you know definitely themes that are going to be revisited and things like that but uh um no concept as far as as far as i can tell at this point there's no there's no concept uh with the record uh there may be some conceptual bits or songs or or whatever uh linking one another but uh that's that's about all i can all i can say at this point yeah i've always enjoyed uh sort of like you talk about the fictional darkness i've always enjoyed that vibe of the music you've been involved with be it you know pure amaze or iced earth or ashes of aries there's kind of it does almost feel like it does have a bit like kind of a comic book feel almost you know like a lot of like you know obviously going back to like spawn you know stuff like that there is the uh it's it's like you know dark fiction or like it has that that kind of vibe to it and I I feel like you, your work is kind of some one of the few works in metal that kind of has that vibe in a way yeah and I, and I, I and I really like that too because it it also you know it also I mean one of the reasons that I really like this, the the uh, the dark saga is because I was able to kind of do these different voices and things like that and that's that's always fun for me like almost doing character bits you know um, whether it's like in violate or or whatever, and I'm doing like the you know the crazy clown you know demon and all this stuff, and that's that's always fun for me. And that was another thing about horror show. You know, I was trying to, I tried to approach each song as I'm this, I am this character. You know, I'm this guy or I'm this you know whatever, and, and that's always fun. And I try to do that even with uh, you know <clears throat> within the realms of every song that I do. I guess it's just you know, I mean, obviously it's my voice, but you know, you try to. Uh, approach approach each song as it's as if it's its own character and uh and uh, i always try to do that so hopefully that comes through and um, again without sounding too too cartoony or too you know i don't know caricaturish you know i don't want to do that i definitely don't want to do that and i you know but at the same time just kind of approach everything as if it's its own own entity yeah, I can definitely hear that through the songs. You know, it's. Uh, would you say it was any different with like Crucible of Man as a concept album? Because that's one where I think it's 
mostly from one character's perspective for the majority of the album, I think. That's kind of a different setup than some of the other concept stuff that you did. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it, it, it for sure. It, it was, it was. And again, that that record though, I'm you know, I I do feel, you know, I still there's still that an attachment to that record. There's there's certain things that certain songs that I feel you know, more, uh, more attached to, because I, you know, I had more to more at stake with them. Um, um, as far as like the writing, uh, lyric, lyric writing and things like that. Um, but that record, man, it was, it seemed like it was, uh, you know, most of the record was already written, you know, before I even became involved with it. So obviously, um, John, you know, had, had a, a plan, uh, for finishing out that, that something wicked concept. And, uh, and so I didn't, in the, even though I was involved with the, the character before from the original, something wicked this way comes, um, it wasn't, you know, totally, uh, I don't know. It, 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 it felt very extremely spontaneous and maybe that shouldn't have been the approach, you know, for, for it. it, it seems spontaneous from my aspect of it. But I guess because I was kind of thrust back into that, into that world at that point, um, and it didn't, you know, I didn't have a lot of time to to sink in, and I didn't, I didn't have as much input as far as the the overall production because it had already, again, already been conceived by John and and brought through, and uh, it seemed like it weren't really quickly. Um, and I wish that it hadn't been as as quick. You know what I mean? I, I don't know exactly how to say it. I wish I had been more involved. I guess from the beginning of it and all the way through. Um, so, it, and, and I and I think people probably picked up on that. I think you know people listening to it probably understood that it. You know, and I'm not saying that I didn't put my heart into it because I, I definitely did. Um, and and I and I tried to put as much into it as as I as I could. But it it, it to a degree it was it was rushed from my aspect of it i think just because it it, it it was really a lot to 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 put in and i just every every bit of that as far as like the uh the delivery and the the, the vocal melodies and things like that and and that was kind of like you know i'm not going to say all me because it was obviously the lyrics were michaels but but a lot more of me and then going to this, going over to, uh, you know, Crucible of Man was kind of a different, a different vibe. So, um, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, I could see it was probably kind of an, an odd, uh, transition there. I think even John has said recently that he felt it wasn't as strong an album as, as it, as it could have been, but yeah. I don't think it's really like yeah. any, any one member's fault, you know? Yeah, I just yeah, I I think it was just kind of like uh, I I I'm not gonna say I'm not I I'm not gonna say that well, I don't know if maybe John was thinking maybe it was just an overstretch trying to do a two two records into a con you know a concept where it probably could have just been done in one I don't know mm-hmm. um, that that may have been it because there you know there there may have been a, a little more repetition than needed to be you know you could have probably he probably could have written maybe a little bit longer one record instead of two, you know, two individual records, but that, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, you can't roll back the clock and I'm, you know, I'm sure John probably would have liked to, have, but you know, it, that's the way it turned out. And it, yeah, I know, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, and there's still some strong stuff on there, you know, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a different, it was a different kind of a, uh, approach for the band, you know, and I guess since then they've kind of, it's gone with Stu. They've kind of gone back towards uh, some of the earlier stuff and things like that, and that seems to be working quite well for them too. So you know, it gets kind of you know just go through different things, and some of them really work out well. Some of them you maybe want to do something else with, you know, just kind of different paths go in different directions, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I think I think they're doing, I think they're doing well now, and I think you know I think Stu's definitely you know done a lot of work um, in that. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that will continue on for him. Yeah, yeah, and um, so for for Ashes though, are you looking at uh, are there, is there any plans coming up more for more 
uh, not tour dates, but you know, more more performances and stuff like that, or is that currently kind of being you know put on hold because you're still working out the album and obviously GSO goes, you know, working on uh, getting a, a a tour together right now. Not it's not going to be a huge tour, but but hopefully a nice collection of shows. Um, and we've got our our, uh, our agents working on that as we speak. So hopefully we'll be able to do some announcing on that soon. Yeah, that'll be cool. Um, it's it's been interesting for me to like in to hear hear about uh, you know because obviously I'm good friends with the Dones, so we kind of like talked you know we talked about the show that that he did with you guys mm-hmm. and stuff, and it's it's been interesting kind of getting that inside scoop a little a little bit you know just like a little kind of knowing how that was like and. Uh, I remember, yeah, when he first told me he was going to do a show, you guys were like, "What? <laughs> Whoa!" But uh, I thought that was that's pretty cool. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, um, yeah, it was it was a really a, a pleasure working with the Don, and I look forward to to doing more shows with him. So, um, and like I said, you know, I'm really looking forward to, to doing uh, working out some of the new material because, uh, you know, and I'm hoping that a Don wants to wants to you know stay with us and and everything else because it'll be you know, awesome having, you know, multiple, you know, layers of, of vocals going on. And that will be, that will be extremely nice. It'll be the first, really first. I mean, this is like the first time that we've been able to have like three parts going at once, um, you know, prior to a dome coming in. Um, I've never, even with Iced Earth, it was always either backing tracks that we had, you know, going back behind or just me and John, or you know me, you know maybe me, John, and 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 Freddie, but uh, they were always backed up typically uh, with backing tracks, and I'm hoping that uh, that we can, you know, not do that. We haven't done that so far, so I'd really like to be able to actually do harmonies without having to do you know back tracks or anything like that, and uh, that will be that will be sweet. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to hear how that, how you know how that will develop. Um, but yeah, I think that that pretty much covers it. Uh, is there anything anything else you want to say about for the, to all the uh, Ashes of Aries fans and stuff out there uh, besides what's already been said, or anything that's pretty good? Well, yeah, I I think that's that's we we covered a lot, man. But uh, you know, I, I yeah, I definitely hope that the just keep keep listening. Uh, you know, keep the support up, man. We'll try to get out to uh, as many as many places as we can. Uh, obviously, we've got the uh, you know some scheduling stuff we we have to work out but uh we're we're trying to really expand out there and and just kind of keep keep uh keep your ear to the ground as far as that's concerned keep uh on our go to our website go to our our facebook and we will definitely make sure that we announce any shows that we're that we're going to be coming up soon and uh and let everybody know uh where we are with the with the next record so and again thank you for for support we oh yeah, sure. It. I'm definitely keeping going to keep doing it, you know. Cool, man. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. It's been great, been great chatting. Yeah, nice talking to you, Garrett. Take care of yourself, man. All right, you too.